So a group of shareholders filed the suit. This sounds obviously highly negative. I think that this is nothing new. I think some people try to get the losses through a lawsuit from the company. Cracks in the wings that might bring the plane down. If you are thinking that Virgin Galactic is not concerned of the security, well, you think really wrong, right? So ladies and gentlemen, as if Virgin Galactic didn't have enough bad news, there is a new circulating news out there and it's picked up by Business Insider here. A new shareholder lawsuit slams Virgin Galactic and Richard Branson as stock, uh, stock plunges, claiming every flight was potentially a catastrophe and uh, one trip nearly killed everyone, okay? This sounds obviously highly negative. Well, first you need to understand medias usually tend to be negative or very positive into the headlines so people click on it and they can sell their um, premium, they can, uh, you know, uh, show the people that this is something clickable and so on and so forth. Second, I think that this is nothing new. I think first picked up by the book Test Gods that I presented also here on this channel where there was apparently the uh, issues with one of the spaceship and it was not uh, right to fly it and so on. But then this was like the advertising of the book, but then I read the book and it was like a 2% part of the book and the rest of the book was pretty, pretty positive, okay? So what I want to say with that is sometimes people try to be more negative as they should be and their news cannot be most of the time objective, okay? However, let's, let's continue and see what, what's going on. So a group of shareholders filed a suit. Uh, the suit Virgin Galactic Aircraft weren't airworthy and the 2019 flight nearly killed everyone. Uh, Virgin Galactic spokesperson said, we believe the claims are without merit and we will address them in the proper forum. Actually, you know, you see here already in the first couple of sentences that this is everything you need to know. Like if you don't have time, don't watch the end of the video. But if you have time and want to know more, stay till the end. You know, this kind of things we are discussing also in our Discord. If you want to get access, there's 50% off for Christmas for you. If you use 50 thanks in the uh, link below with the whole case study on Virgin Galactic, Discord access, valuation Excel files, and so on and so forth. So, and you know, they are claiming that uh, there's a chaotic operation meant every flight was a potential catastrophe, uh, was so far from being saved that every flight was a disaster in the making. The 158 page lawsuit claims that Virgin Galactic vehicles were prototypes that had never been intended for regular flights. So I think what is really happening is, I think that people are just quite negative and exhausted that the stock went so much down. I mean, you know, let's, let's face it, right? I mean, some people just cannot face uh, a downturn of, let's say, from the very high tops in January till now, 73%, or since the summer till now, about 70%. And they think like, oh, I didn't make a mistake. They did a mistake. I was right. And some people have a great uh, problem with the ego. And that's why I think some people try to get the losses through a lawsuit from the company, which... I haven't heard about any case, except it was like fraud or something, that the shareholders actually won. So I think that this will be not that much of a successful trial than I understood, okay? So more than that, I think there's more about the company than what they talk about. And uh, then they say here, attorney Jonathan Horn of New York based Rosen Law Firm filed a claim on behalf of shareholders who purchased Virgin Galactic stock on July 2019. Let's have a look where the stock was on July 2019. This was actually the very beginning, as you can see here. So. It was even before the first drop, which was like 30%, I remember that. And then it was before all the runs. So even when they haven't done anything and then sold or bought more, they're still 40% up. And uh, to the highs, they were up, you know, 400%. And I think, you know, some people think, you no, know, it should be there up and 
the, it's like a fraud company and this is where the ego comes which I just explained for the people that are a little bit uh, let's say uh, pissed and, set, and doing this lawsuit right around the time it announced it will go public through October 2020 uh, 21 or in decline to comment cracks in the wings that might bring the plane down in the lawsuit the plane tiff said virgin galactic has long been struggled to live up to the schedule branson had promised as usual in a very very deep tech uh, company also Elon musk do this on a regular basis okay uh, the suit details virgin galactic tumultuous uh, space trip timelines over the past several years including the test flights and its 2014 crash during which a pilot was killed virgin galactic stock was tumbled in recent months those accidents like this accident was a pilot mistake so nothing with the aircraft per se but they improved obviously that this mistake cannot happen again yeah and other than that there's a couple of things about the engineering as well but nothing that i really feel important so shareholders said the company swept concerns about its spacecraft under the rug and defers maintenance even when it knows of specific deficits that could cause an accident the suit said virgin galactic only replaced parts when it was clear they were worn out and should have been replaced months earlier shareholder class actions sometimes called stock drop suits against budding companies are uncommon. In 2021, electric vehicle startup Canoe, battery startup Quantum Space, and Clover Health are faced lawsuit from shareholders after a drop in share price. Rosen Law Firm, which is filling against Virgin Galactic, has also represented shareholders against Pure Cycle Technologies, claiming the recycling company made misleading statements and failed to disclose important information. But Stephen Diamond, a Santa Clara University Associate Professor of Law who researched shareholders' activism, told Insider that security fraud suits surrounding specs deals are still relatively new and could have implications for future transactions. It will test the availability of the a newly popular IPO pathway, Diamond said, but the fact that key insiders sold stock at the time of the alleged fraud is one fact that often weighs in favor of the shareholder playing fits. Most such lawsuits will result in a financial settlement if they pass certain procedural milestones but he said that could take many months if not years okay so here you go that's the update on the lawsuit i don't know why this is uh you know again circulating in the news just maybe four more maybe some hedge funds maybe just using the falling stock price to give another reason that the uh company is not worthy but as you have seen either this kind of lawsuits don't go that far or they get really broken down and will not hold in the end or they get into a settlement so if you are thinking that virgin galactic is not concerned of the security well you think really wrong right because think about it they had the ems problem they said like let's fix it first once for all for five months instead of saying okay you know we could probably fly which they said in the statements but they didn't fly because of security concerns also now italian air force they could fly this thing okay but they decided to make the maintenance first to have the fleet fully operational 100% secure and safe and optimized for this new period that we are just entering in the new year i cannot wait what is coming up to virgin galactic but here you have the lawsuit explained and what i think about it the discussion continues obviously in in our discord but i think that many many people are getting really scared when they see this kind of news okay they see the website they see you know the website i mean the issuing you know magazine let's say uh, the publisher uh, the big names they see the bad headline written right and they got scared and usually if you break it down it's not that of a deal okay so and companies on regular basis go into those um let's say regular uh, fights with sec you know we had the sec intervention into Virgin Galactic and what happens, you know, everything was sold to their fully happiness, right? So those times are usually great also to pick up a little bit if the stock tends to 
go down a little bit, always a great idea. However, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that. If you feel that you were, let's say, almost frauded by Virgin Galactic as a shareholder, or you are happy how things are getting handled and what you're doing, let me know and give me any new video ideas that you would like really to know and I will go into them. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow.